Alright guys, today I got a little bit of a fun video for you guys. Um, you guys probably all know that I really like using Torp Recovery on my devices. Um, but this is a new recovery I'm going to show you how to install. And I'm going to show you how to install it on my Droid Razer HD, which is this device right here. In case you're wondering, I'm running um, Eclipse ROM right here on this, uh, which is made by Nitroglycerin. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on my computer and with this phone how to uh, install a new touch clockwork mod recovery uh, recovery image um, and show you a little feature in there that's kind of cool too. This is actually made, made by a guy named uh, Shabby Penguin and then uh, Matt Groff has ported it over to the Droid Razer HD for us. Originally this thing was made for the S4. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how to install that on this device right here. And uh, so let's go ahead and shoot our computer and get into that. So let me go over your prerequisites for you guys. Um, you're going to actually have to download the image. Uh, I'm going to show you where it is in my Dropbox or Google Drive, I should say which is this image right here. It's the O-U-D-H-S image file. So we're going to copy it. I'm going to give you guys a link to this, so don't worry about it. And then we're going to paste it into this file, which is your Moto file. Um, to install this, you are going to have to have an unlocked bootloader on your Droid Razor HD. And to do that, you had to have used this program. So it should already be on your computer and your Motorola driver should already be on there and everything you should need should be already in place because you had to use this to unlock the bootloader. So just get into this file that you use to unlock your bootloader. I'll try to link this stuff in the video description anyway in case you don't have it for some reason. Um, but you do have to have an unlocked bootloader to, to do this. Um, so then what I just do is I already have a recovery image in here that I flashed originally right here. Is just paste this in here because this has your fast boot file which you're going to need to flash this with. It's just already on your computer, it's easy, you don't have to worry about you know setting all this stuff up because you should have it already set up for unlocking your bootloader. So now here's your file right here and then all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, in this window we're going to hold shift on our keyboard, right click and then say open uh, command window here. Obviously this is for uh, Windows 7 here and you're going to get this file right here. So next we got to put our phone, you're going to get this command window here, we're going to put our phone into um, fast boot mode. So let me go ahead and show you guys that. Okay so what we're going to do here put it to put this phone into fast boot mode is go ahead and power off. Power off the device. Should shut down. And then what we're going to do is on the side here I have your volume up and down and your power and what we're going to do once it powers off is we're going to hold volume up and down and power and it's going to go into uh, boot menu mode where we can select fast boot. Again if you have recovery on here already you should have done this so it should be a step you guys already know how to do. Um, so go ahead and hold the volume up and down, power and you're in a boot mode right here. Scroll down twice, AP fast boot and volume up to select it and you're going to get this screen right here from here you're just going to go ahead and plug this into your computer and you also should see for this to work right here device is unlocked status code 3 you cannot flash a recovery image to this thing unless you have an unlocked bootloader I told you this a couple times but right there you can check to make sure you have an unlocked bootloader plug in your phone to the computer and we're going to set this down and go back to my computer screen and test the connection to make sure it's connected and then we're going to flash this so all right our phone's plugged in what we're going to type in first is fast boot devices and hit enter and you should come back with a serial number right here and that is make sure that your device is connected so once you have that all you have to type in is fast boot Flash recovery. There's spaces in between each of these things. And then the name of the image file, which is right here O U D H S. 
So O U D H S dot I M G because it is an image file and then you push enter. And it's writing it, sending it, and it's done. So at this point, your still phone stills on these like words here. Okay, so from this point right here, we just flashed that recovery. Everything said it was good to go. And we're going to go ahead and unplug the device. And then we're just going to hold down power until this thing uh, reboots. Let's see here, give it a second. Alright, and then go ahead and hold your volume up and down, power, we're going to get back into bootloader mode, and then go ahead and go down one, and then select recovery, and go up one, and this should be our new recovery, so let's let this thing boot up here, there we go, that is uh, Shady Shabby Penguin Recovery. The cool thing about this recovery, it's just like a Clockwork My Recovery because that's what it's based on and it's touch. So it actually works with swipe directioning. Um, so if you want to scroll, you just swipe your finger up or down for scrolling. Select is this to this, uh, left to right, and then to go back is right to left. Um, but one of the cool things about this, uh, this recovery is it's got an Easter egg in it, and I'll show you how to do that. So just keep scrolling and you're gonna see it voila it shoots over to uh, rainbow mode and if you keep scrolling it will switch back to just like the grayscale um, you can scroll either direction and it goes into a rainbow mode I just think it's cool it's kind of a fun little feature in there it does show you down here you're switching rainbow mode and stuff like that you can see stuff on the bottom there um, and then there you go it's back to grayscale so pretty nice uh, everything's fully functional just like uh, clockwork my recovery touch addition in there with this uh, nice little uh, rainbow mode Easter egg in there it's very cool you have your battery percentage up there which I like that a lot um, basic standard you know features for a recovery system here so that's it if you want to reboot at this point you can go ahead and just swipe across there on reboot now and your droid razor HD will reboot so there you go guys that is my quick little install on how to do this I uh, hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like this recovery. Check it out. Give it a try. See if you guys uh, like it. Uh, I think it's pretty nice. Pretty fun to play with. Um, go ahead if you guys want. Check me out here at rootjunkie.com. I'm adding stuff to this thing constantly. Especially check my download page. Um, I'll always adding files in there. Stuff you guys might want to check out. Um, new videos. Things like that. Um, also you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter right over there on the side. And that guys. Hope you guys enjoy this. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.